This video is a brief walkthrough of the Redis function in Kribble Logstream and how it can be used to enrich your data. In the lookup concept video, I covered the lookup function in Logstream. Logstream has had this lookup function since the very first version, enabling people to enrich their data from CSV files. This is great for a lot of use cases, but it has two main drawbacks. One, it's intended for smaller files, and as your CSV files get larger, performance can suffer. And two, the lookup is a fixed file, with no dynamic mechanism for updating the data in the file. So in the 2.4 release of Logstream, we added a Redis function. If you're not familiar with Redis, it's an in-RAM or um, in-memory caching store. It's used across the industry as a caching layer and even a message broker and database. Redis is an open source system that is available both as open source software as well as in managed services from cloud providers. While this video is focused on using Redis as a lookup cache, our Redis function is actually a full implementation of the Redis command set. And there are likely many other interesting ways it can be used in the Logstream environment. You can use the Redis function to do a get of data, like key value store. This is very similar to the normal lookup function. Find this key and return the associated fields. But Redis is purpose built for that, and it doesn't suffer the same performance drawbacks as lookups from CSV files. Even better, Redis can be updated by the Redis function. So you can do things like use a data collector to pull data from REST APIs for use with lookups. For example, we use the AWS API to get a list of all of our account IDs and the human readable name for them. Since things like CloudTrail and VPC flow logs reference the account ID, we can use a Redis lookup to add the human-friendly name to our records. And since we can run that as a scheduled data collection, we can update it as frequently as we want, maximizing the value of the lookup while minimizing the effort to keep it up to date. And getting into bigger data sets, like threat feed IP lists, etc., works like a charm with Redis. Kribble Logstream and Redis enable you to enrich your data at scale. Thanks for watching.